Miami born and raised Cuban MC Pitbull burst on the scene in 2004 with his debut album Money is a Major Issue, an album that fused his Cuban roots with his hip hop upbringing and made him one of the new faces of Latin hip hop alongside Fat Joe and Daddy Yankee. Pitt took some time out to chop it up with the hip hop official team at his recent photo shoot. Uh, behind the scenes of the photo shoot we're doing at Victor's Cafe. Victor's Cafe is going to have to cut a check for that. Yeah. You might have to bleep that now. But out here, you know, we're getting the whole Cuban atmosphere, the tropical atmosphere. We were supposed to shoot it in Miami, but so we found the closest thing in New York to, to you know, what it is in the crib, the crib being in the bottom, the bottom being in Miami. Riding off the success of his last album, Money is Still a Major Issue, and the hit single Shake with the Ying Yang Twins and Everybody Get Up, Pitt is currently prepping his third album, El Mariel. New album is called El Mariel. For those who don't know what El Mariel is or Mariel, uh, just to give you an example so you can picture it, if you've seen the movie Scarface, which we, we just spoke about, it's um, it's the beginning when all the boats are coming full of Cubans, and, and that's El Mariel, that was the Mariel boat lift. And basically it was, you know, Castro opened the floodgates, America opened the gates, saying, you know, we're going to let y'all in, we're going to give you freedom. And um, that's basically the way I feel right now. Like, the game them let me in, it's time for me to come get it, take advantage of all these opportunities that these other cats ain't taking advantage of. His parents both being first-generation Cuban immigrants and still having family in Cuba, Pitt feels obligated to bring to light what's going on in his homeland through his music and his words. I mean, a lot of people, you know, they just don't really know what what went on in Cuba and we had to leave the island not because we chose to because we you know we had to and our families had to leave everything they had back there due to the way certain people handled themselves or handled their business in Cuba and as far as Castro what he did was sold the dream oh you know you're gonna have a watch you got a watch and you know you got black beans he's got black beans you got a house you got a house it didn't work out that way and basically what happened was he started taking people's properties and and, you know, killing people, basically. And what happens now is, my mother came on the Peter Pan, you know, she had to leave my mother, my grandmother had to let go of my mother on that. Um, my father came over, had a tough life too, due to the situations in Cuba. My grandmother, you know, a lot of people that went to university in Cuba got, got their degrees, got everything, masters, da, da, da. they gotta come over here and start from scratch now, because it's not the same, you know, educational system. So it just shows, you know, in a way, the good that happened behind Castro and the way he handled the island was that he made Cubans monsters, meaning we came over here and we figured out how to make it happen. And we built our own city, which is now called Miami. Eager to get back to his music this time around, Pitbull is dedicated to making El Mariel bang just as hard as both previous albums. And this time he plans to take his time and do it right. Well, this album, I get, I get a chance to really work on it the way I want to. You know, last album I was scrambling, grinding on the road, promoting. And, you know, I'm still scrambling, grinding on the road, promoting. But at least I get to say, hey, you know what? I need to take these two weeks off and work on these, you know, X amount of tracks that we're doing. Or I need to go to the studio with, with whoever it may be, Jim Johnson, Smurf, Lil John, these brothers, you know, and, and, and really work on these tracks, which I've gotten a chance to do. You're not going to find too many collaborations on the album, though. It's uh, gonna be more about just, you know, Pitbull. First single off the album is produced by Little John, it's called Bo Jangles. That's definitely, you know, gonna get the club going and, and um, it's all percussion. If you listen to the record, it's all percussion. I wanted to do an all English, all Spanish album, but what happened is we couldn't find a way to make them both chart at the same time. Billboard hasn't figured that out yet. The bilingual game is too new to them. So then what I did was on, on the regular album, I'm going to put a special edition with nothing but Spanish records on that special edition, setting up an all Spanish album that will be coming out from Pitbull also. So, you know, you got a lot of things to look forward to in the Mariel, and all I look forward to do is making history with God's help and the fans, of course. Without them, Pitbull ain't... Three, oh, five. Ah.